Okay, thank you. Thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to continue on with uh, from the previous one, and we're going to continue to draw out our apartment model. The apartment model I'm going to be using as a template right now is going to be the apartment that uh, we used last week in AutoCAD for in-class evaluation. And we're going to draw something very similar. I'm going to show you how to set that up. So now that we have our walls drawn, um, excuse me, by the way, now that we have our walls not drawn, we haven't drawn anything, if we don't draw anything in the Revit, we draft in AutoCAD, but we model in uh, Revit architecture. So uh, what we want to do is uh, make sure that we have those walls imported. We should have copied them from our previous file. And the two walls we imported were the four and a half inch interior wall and the customized, or the custom, your custom exterior wall. My custom exterior wall is a seven and eighth inch uh, wall that... Um, I created that, uh, you know, it's got the same dimensions as the AutoCAD ones, but your exterior wall doesn't necessarily have to have those very same dimensions. So your model should work out just fine. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and choose that wall. Nope, oh, can't do that. Our properties panel is showing us a floor plan because there's nothing really here selected, but it's, as soon as I select a wall, it's going to show us uh, that wall here, and I want to go ahead and select the right one. But let's start at the top and go to our properties palette, or our, I'm sorry, our ribbon, and take a look at this. We want to make sure that we're going to be drawing a line, which you'll see up here in the modify place, wall, green tab that's all lit up here. Go to your options bar. Uh, unconnected? Probably not. We don't want to do unconnected. You know, I think we do. This is our exterior wall, so let's do that. And I think the requirements of the evaluation is going to be 15 feet, so let's go ahead and uh, change that. Wall center line. Hey, just like with uh, AutoCAD, let's go ahead and use uh, the finished face exterior. So we remember when we drew those lines in AutoCAD, the two lines that represent the inside and the outside of the, house, or the other wall. Well, the outside wall is going to be the finished face uh, exterior, and the inside line is going to represent the finished face interior of that wall. So we're going to follow that same format. So instead of wall center line, we're going to go to finish face exterior. And we're going to draw everything. If we draw a line up, everything is going to be offset to the right of that. And that will be the inside of the wall. And the line we draw is going to be the actual outside of the wall as, as being represented when we put this out in our floor plan, if that makes sense. We want to chain it so it stays connected. We don't want to have any offsets. We're going to go down here to our properties palette, and some of these items up here that we change up here in our options bar can also be changed down here. Here's our finished face exterior, unconnected, 15 feet. These are all the options that we chose up here. More of them up here than are down here, but uh, those are options nonetheless, and they appear in different, two different places. So, let's go ahead and choose our right wall. It's going to be our exterior wall. Let me choose my exterior 7 and 8 inch clapboard siding, wood stud drywall wall, and we'll start drawing. So I'm going to make this wall probably about maybe 20, 21 feet or so up. We can't really see that a whole lot, so I'm going to scoot in with my middle mouse button. This one's about 39 feet, so I'm going to go a little bit uh, longer than that and bring this one down, and with that puller tracking, I'm going to pick up that uh, wall over there and pick up the very end of that wall. So now, dimensions. Kind of tricky, but let me show you how to put these dimensions. Let's start with this one first. The first thing you do is you put in uh, your, by clicking on the symbol, you make a temporary, uh, permanent dimension out of your temporary dimension. Remember your dimensions? Uh, your dimensions are defined initially by um, uh, listening dimensions as you draw a line out. That's a test question, by the way. Then it turns into a temporary dimension once your line is drawn and you're beginning to model something. This becomes a temporary dimension to make a permanent dimension. It really isn't as permanent as it makes it seem, but it's a permanent dimension regarding it's going to be there until we change it. Uh, that's going to be there. All you have to do is click on that symbol and it makes a permanent dimension out of it. So let's go back to this line. Now if we click on a line like that, it allows us to change that dimension. So you'll notice that if we click on this line over here, that 24 foot dimension becomes bluish. This gives us the ability to change it to something specific. But for, before we do this, and this is important, we want to move our dimension around. So I'm going to save that for the next video, and we'll go through some uh, dimensioning strategies with the next video, and please join me then.